in this bag I have golf balls rated one out of five stars. Was it from Sports Direct? Let's do it. And let's do it now. Drive a distance longer. Oh, oh don't be on. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, first things first is what they gotta do. Subscribe. Yes, got it. Like the video and just enjoy. Just enjoy. So today, um, today we've got, yes, uh, six pound I think, but postage and packaging was seven. Got so I'll deal, let you do the honours. Thank you very much. So these are rated one star, Chris, on one Sports star. Direct. Fair enough. The postage and packaging cost more than the actual ball. Well, I'll tell you what, I can see why. We're struggling to get in. Oh, bag inside. Well, a bag. that's exactly seven quid postage and packaging. Oh, for, oh no, he's having a nightmare. There's people behind us. We've ch we've chopped it. Oh, blood and sand. Oh, I tell you what, two for a ten. You didn't get two. Oh, you, they didn't offer me that. You tight. We'd run a giveaway, but it's a little bit pointless, isn't it? Slaz Wanger. Should we get off? Let's do it. Let's do it now. Oh, oh. we're on fire. We're here all week. Do you want the honour or shall I have it? Really the honour of putting the rubbish in your bag. Thank you ever so much. Oh. Is there anything worse than forgetting your glove? And then having to wear a really old one like that. But, right. Struggling to get in it. Bloody hell. We're in. Chuck us a sleeve. Oh, they're not in a sleeve. They're not even in a sleeve? Oh. Right, Slazinger, it feels like that. Slazinger. I'm a Slazinger Wanker. 1, and these are the V100. This is going to be a scientific, in depth review, that kind of. Slazinger 2. Perfect. Do you think they feel a bit light? Yeah, they do. One star rating. So don't expect any birdies or eagles. Feel the best. Oh, yeah. what? That is hard, but it's in the fairway. I'll carry him around. Oh, I tell you what. It's too cracking it. What? What? A, we haven't even had a warm up, have we? Unbelievable. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, we haven't had a warm up. We haven't even hit a shot in the net. We've kind of got down here. Huge thanks to the guys at Tankersley Park Golf Club for getting us out. It's a blustery day. It's a busy day. The course looks well, doesn't it? It does look very good. Right. Haven't been for a long time. Got enough water there? Dehydrated. Hydration is key. Hydration is key. So guys, this is exactly where I used to work. I did five or six years here in the professional shop working for you and really, really enjoyed it. All the members are lovely. Is that sarcasm? No. Oh yeah, I don't know any of the members, but yeah, my uncle's <laughs> a member actually, so my uncle is a lovely member. Uncle's a lovely guy. Um, so the video's going to go like this. We're going to do a couple of holes on my channel, uh, and then just like all the ball reviews we do, go over to Chris's channel, check yeah. it out. Have you done the giveaway yet? Giveaway, oh it will be actually tomorrow, Friday. Tomorrow. So it's just going out next Thursday? Yeah, so this will be on Thursday the 10th and the giveaway is on Friday the 11th. And speaking of giveaways, if you've not entered my giveaway for the Cobra Speed Zone Camo, that's coming up as well. So I'll link that video in the description. Make sure you go check it out, make sure you subscribe, like it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, who's going to win this match as well? Aquaman or me? Mm. Right, Chris, well, we've got two in the fairway, which is more than what we can say for saying that. We played all right last week, didn't we? Mm. By last week, I mean yesterday. Under par. Yeah, uh, which one are you having? I ate four, Ryan. I ate four, Ryan. Did you? Yeah, I'm two, you're one. I'm a one. Big reveal. Oh, this is me. Yeah, they're yeah, me. Oh, done him. With the same, I thought you'd hit six iron with that. I mean, this is a ball that looks better for you, isn't it? Maybe you've got a, a defective ball. Are you, you know what? I love these back five balls at Tankersley. Fantastic. Oh, a long way. Fantastic. Oh, you have got a long way, and you're right. Well, we got six iron. No, you need that. One fifty. What one fifty? Oh, one fifty is where. One fifty is where my ball is. Eight iron then. Yeah. Should have just let you hit six and killed them up next tee. It wasn't sarcasm that you know. Lovely members. Right, nice and easy. Coast him in. That is nice actually that, if you can pick it up. 
Oh, short. Short. Maybe it was six. Mm, did it a little heavy? Damien? It's off. Right, I reckon I've got about 150. Potentially. Quite a tough one this actually, ball above feet. That's what got me. Is it? Yeah, that and I've got 155 in from here, so. Solid. Cheers for that. So you had like 170, didn't you? Big yeah. eight, big eight time that 170. Right, what have you got? Eight. You've got eight, yeah. Aim up that right side. And remember this like it was just yesterday. Watch that tree. Oh, it's a slinger. Oh, don't go away. Maybe do. Test the bunkers out. Oh, oh, oh. That's a shocking miss, you know. All you have to do is get anywhere right, you fine. Oh, the memories are flooding back, Chris. Flooding back. So these holes are definitely my favourite kind of loop of holes anywhere on any golf course, really. I used to come up for work early, get here for kind of 7 o'clock. It'd take you 40 minutes, 45 minutes to play the back five holes, the back five, as we all know it around here. And yeah, just really fun, actually, really. I just think you don't need to always play 18 holes, do you? Five holes before work, five holes after work. Really fun, just enough, enough, right. That is a shocking miss green though. You could go anywhere up that right hand side and it would kick in. Chris has had enough, he's just, it's a lonesome figure that, isn't it? You were cutting a bit of a lonesome figure up there, Chris. Lonesome. Lonesome. On your Todd. It's me or the flag's small. The flag is small, yeah. Um, Lovely shot you've got here though, isn't it? This is a bit of a runoff almost. A little bit. Getting chasing. Oh, it's not chased enough. Nice effort, but the greens are a bit soft. I don't know how I might have that bunker to the grass. I mean, it's not an easy tip. I'd just like to show everyone how close my ball is to that bunker. Because that's, uh, yeah, I've done well there. No feel around the green. One star ball. One star. Oh, fiery off the pot effect. Oh. Also round pass. Go on that circle. Right. I don't know what happened there. Came off like a pebble. A pebble. Pebble. What would you relate it to so far? Uh, like a stone. <laughs> oh, never. That's in. a big point in the context of the game. That never in doubt. Big five. That big bogey. Big bogey. Big bogey. You know what I really like about these balls? And any ball like this. Any ball? Any ball like this. Oh. You know exactly what you're paying for. True. Six quid, 12 balls, no excessive boxing. Just lose them at your own. Just yeah. lose them. Just shed them. That's all you want, isn't it? Shed them. Shed them. <laughs> Guys, hit those comments below. Has anyone bought these golf balls? Slazinger V100 from Sports Direct. This isn't an advert for Sports Direct. I've never, I never really go to Sports Direct anymore, but I have seen plenty of kind of real budget golf stuff there, which, I mean, if you want to play golf, get into golf, I'm all for that. You shouldn't have to spend a lot of money. Definitely shouldn't have to spend a lot of money. Well, Chris, last week, the first was halved in birdies. This one's halved in bogeys. Back to the normal routine. Yeah. Good all again, this. Yeah, this is lovely. Oh, you could drive this, couldn't you, actually? Especially with the Slaz Wanger. Is that the new nickname for it? But we don't want to lose one. No. A four. Six, six pound a dozen, four, six fifty. Four iron again. Four iron. Keep it in play. Move it down. I might even go two, you know, and just now. Four. Four. Because two brings those trees in. Four. No, I'm going to go to. I'm going to try and slide it round a little bit. Okay, what's it? Are you seeing if the Slaz Wanger? Yeah, is what's what's the workability like of the Slazinger V100? For 50p a ball. Ooh. You know, it's done everything I wanted it to do. That, isn't it? That's absolutely perfect. Yeah. Off the tee, can't complain so far. 
Not that we're complaining about the ball anyway, but I'm too hot. Fatigued after that. <laughs> Breakfast. Well, I might just catch the old trees that, you know? The old foliage on the right hand side. Maybe. Just like I've just caught my calf on that nettle there. Just to the left, I think. Nasty I've that. Nasty. So Chris, I was just saying to the guys there about obviously buying golf stuff from places like Sports Direct. It used to be Sports Soccer, didn't it? Yeah. Do you remember back in the day? It used to go and get your football boots and stuff like oh, that for cheap. Shinnies. Yeah, well, shin I never wore shinnies to be fair. Just... Was that Laurent Blanc? Remember him? Mm, uh, anyway, back back on to golf. <laughs> so, how do you feel about people buying things like that? a driver for 20 quid, balls for 6 quid, golf bag for 13 quid? I, I like it. I think it opens up the game to so many more people. Yeah. And like, you don't have to go and spend 100 quid on a bag, 100 quid, 100 pound on a bag, 500 pound on a set of irons, 300 quid on a driver, which would still be cheap. Yeah. But no, I mean, it gives everyone access to the game. You can get in and see if you actually like the game before spending a thousand pounds. Because how many times you see people spend a thousand pounds and then not play well or be not be great to start with, and then yeah. they go, oh, it's an expensive sport and it's rubbish. Especially if you're teaching juniors and you say to the parents, yeah, get your kid into golf, it's fantastic, it's wonderful. By the way, it's two grand to start with. And they're yeah. like, well, they've tried horse riding, they've tried football, they've tried rugby, they've tried basketball, they've tried fencing. Um, now you want me to fence? Yeah, I tried fencing. What round are you? Yeah. Did you do fencing? No. Oh. But anyway, fencing. Um, but yeah, it just helps you get into it. So. On guard. Yeah, you get in the trees, mate. Anyway. On guard. You can be a fence. You're not agile enough. No, that is true. Especially after my big breakfast. No. Right, Chris. Um, I'm not sure. If you've left yourself an amazing shot there, because the flag has really took the flag away, hasn't it? Yeah. That's an awful one for the lovely members. Awful location. So we'll just try middle of the green, should get me at least half. Oh. I mean, it's come out. There's almost like nothing you can do with that shot, is there? Wrong club. Eight iron. Didn't stay as low as I expected. Should it have been a six? Anyone wondering where my ball is, we're just safely in the fairway yet again. Fairway finder. Yeah, I mean, you bogeyed the last one from the fairway, so... Tell you what, that's, uh, that's pretty much, I stopped kicking the camera, that's pretty much position A to that flag, isn't it? It certainly is. I'll just try and not get it on the M1, because that wouldn't be ideal. Definitely more a match play shot than a score making shot, but we'll take it. Middle of the green, uh, about 20 feet. Not ideal, but the wind's blowing a bit now, isn't it? it certainly is. And you've got quite a difficult one here. Well, it's been. Oh! Nearly slammed dunked. Nearly slammed dunked it, oh yeah. Okay. Is your channel short game? Short game wizard, extraordinaire, some say. So, with a wedge in our hand from 70 yards, yeah, we're downwind, but not uh, not a great deal of action there, to be fair. Landed it stick high, and it's got about 15 feet of roll. For the half, Christopher, with the Slaz, what do you call them? Slaz Wanger. Means a lot that, doesn't it? What a ball. What a player. Five pound if you get two dozen. Sports direct, be the ball. Well, I thought I'd do that. Never. Coach that one up. Never in doubt. Don't miss from that. Level. Right guys, 16th hole, and this is actually quite a difficult one. You've got to kind of thread it with a fairly long club up that left-hand side. Lovely looking hole. Playing long today, this. Perfect. 
So if we are going to review the ball, hitting driver there, both of the shots seem to come out pretty low spin. Yeah. I don't know if you thought that, they were low trajectory as well, weren't they? So Yeah, I mean, I would expect it to rise up, but it stayed pretty uh, solid flight. Really. Yeah. Actually, Chris, I've just been looking at the box, and would you believe that it says, flight high, feel softer, di driver distance longer, driver spin higher, it says there, I find that incredible. It's got a large titanium in hand solid core for exceptional distance. Exceptional. Exceptional. A sirloin cover for great durability. Sirloin? Sirloin? Well, yeah. I probably wasn't far off, was I? It's not a steak. But... No, and it's got 428 dimples for a high ball fly. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure about that, especially with driver. Uh, with iron, I think uh, like the four iron went quite high. I hit on the first and the second. Yeah. But... The driver there was bullet low. Well, you've got to remember it's a distance ball. Boom. And it's new. V100. What a ball. No, it found me the fairway anyway. Well, we've actually hit two pretty good drives there. I think you've done me. 150's there. 150 is just in the fairway there. I've got a bit of a mud ball actually. Mud ball. Mud ball. And I'm going to, you know, it's quite annoying that when you don't get those sleeves of three, you have to have them all in. It's like fills your entire bag up, but true. Uh, Anyway. Oh, 135, but it's uphill, playing 142, into wind as well actually, you're going to love this, I'm going to chip a 7 up there. Chip a 7? High launching ball. Yeah, this is a problem isn't it, mud on the ball as well. Oh, middle of the green's a good shot here. Back edge, innit? I'll take it. Really funny shot that, because you'd think from 135 you're just going to go all out attack, but it just didn't lend itself to it. No, I've got an 8 iron. A little chipper. Another flag that's just tucked away naughtily there. With the lovely members. That's come out quite high. Ah, oh, uh, it should be nice, shouldn't it? Display of skill and talent. Just a ball striking masterclass, some would say. That's it, fairways and greens. It's the first, over, the first, over first green you've hit, that. Very true. <laughs> Real funny story, Chris, about these back few holes. So, do you remember the play playing ability test for the PGA? I do. Quite stressful, wasn't it? Mm. Especially for us who were never really players. True. It was a new path here, I've never seen that path. But basically, I came out the night before around here, thought I'll play a few holes, get the confidence up, have a few birdies, shanked every single shot. Well, stood on the first tee at Bolton. It's an iron off the tee, isn't it? I was shaking it's like it. a dog, but actually, long story short, it went all right. So yeah, passed. 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 Pass. Yeah. Right. Where are these? Well, yours might be a bit short, is it? Yeah. yeah. And actually, mine stick eye. Oh, a bit of stoppage as well. Right, Chris, it's definitely on me, but I'm going to let you go because I'm camera working. I can't be bothered to go all the way over there to come all the way back. Camera working. Is that a fair shout? It is. So we know what happens. Straight in, skick. Uh, I'm not sure. It's quite a lengthy one. Nice. I'd have gone for that, personally. Well, I've seen you're in three put territory. Um. Oh, are you, are you giving yourself that? I thought it went a bit quiet. Well, circle of friendship. It's all it's only eight feet. It's all I'm cut rule there, so I'm sorry I didn't give it you. Oh, he's kicking off. Hey, look at this for stoppage. Oh, moist greens. You know what, you know these, these dimples. Yeah. They get, you have to quite deep and the, like the mud just stays in them. Mm. I don't know if that's focusing for you, is it? It is. It's uh, quite annoying. You have to really give it a. You know, like a proper good, good old scrub. Yeah, every time you use them. Is it fatiguing you? Yeah, it is actually, yeah. Right, how far are we saying left? How many say at the stand on your leg, the right leg? About three feet. Oh, what a read by myself. Oh, is it good that it looks? I'll just do what you do. Oh, that old chestnut. 
Ah. Oh. What a player. Sweet turn of pace, that. Turn of pace. You're a bit like a... A young Nicholas and Elka. I was going to say Ollie Gunner, but we'll right. go with Nicholas and Elka we'll if with, you want. We'll go with me. Um, so guys, the good news is, Chris can't be bothered to have tools on his channel, so we can continue. People say they want longer videos, you're getting them. Cheers, Chris. You better believe it. Better believe it. So Chris, cheers for that. Yeah, giving the people what they want, longer videos. Five holes this will be. Yeah, five um, holes. So what's coming on your channel? Because the really reason is you've already got one scheduled, haven't you? Yeah, so on Thursday I've got um, the second part of I give myself a lesson. And that give was, yourself a lesson? I give myself a lesson. So I've done the, all the work. I've got the data on Capto. But obviously now what I need to do is go through my videos and give myself some drills. And then obviously we're going to give the giveaway for a uh, triple track putter. Oh, did you mention there's a giveaway of a triple track putter? Triple track putter. And this will probably go out kind of Monday now because I generally edit them a lot quicker. Very true. Just So uh, it'll be out Monday, so make sure you check that out Thursday on Chris's channel. And if you do want to be on the chance of winning a Cobra driver, that's on my channel obviously. Right, drivable this, downhill, downwind. Downhill, all square. Oh, what a game. Right, 314 yards, easiest hole in the course stroke index 18. Your honour, is it? Hmm. Well, we've just halved them all, haven't we? Just halved them all. I'll go. Chances. Is it big dog or it is? No messing about. That's when the ball costs 50p and you don't mind losing it. If I lose it on here, I'm really worried. Really? Unless I hit it too far onto the M1. Or just hit it left, like I'll probably do. I'm not going to lie, I lost quite a few on here when I was an assistant. Back in the day. Back in the day. Just left of it, this will kick left as well, watch, ding. See now actually that's a good fall from down there, it's a really interesting hole. Through the I trees. I don't think the flight was, um, the flight didn't seem very strong there to say you hit it downwind. No, slightly off the toe but it, again not much spin. It dipped though didn't it, yeah. See, I feel like if I get this high and ride in the wind it should be long enough. High ride, yeah. This was always a hole you look forward to on the scorecard, you know if you were Want to make a few shots up? The high rider. That's over the bunker. That's very good. Oh, oh. could be on. Could be on. Just call me uh, drivable par four James from now on, please. Just so you know, he has been James Robinson today. <laughs> And you see, this is a point that I was definitely going to raise at some point in this video. It doesn't matter what golf ball you use. And I don't mean that to say if you're a scratch, scratch player, if you're a pro, if you're trying to really improve your game, that you shouldn't get fitted for a golf ball or you shouldn't buy expensive golf balls. Because you should, you will see the benefit. But we're four holes in near enough and we've got a right laugh, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, it's whatever is your budget, really. And again, if you use a ball that's the same every time, you're going to be a little bit more consistent. So if you use the same ball time and time again, you're going to know how it reacts. So you shouldn't just play what you find, Chris? Not just find a Dunlop, a Pro V, Pinnacle. What do you do? A top flight, an AD333. I'm, surpri I'm surprised you're not in there trying to hoover some up, to be fair. Well, I don't know. I'll probably find a Slazinger or two in there. <laughs> <laughs> just going to put this out there, Chris. I think mine might actually be long. Well, it did get a big bounce. Big bounce. And all you, all you want there is that little soft, soft bounce, kick to the left, near the flag, eagle putt. Steven. Steven. Get him off. He's on screen now. A legend. <laughs> <laughs> right then, Chris, mine has gone a little bit long. It's just on the back edge there. So that's obviously hit this down slope. And you're, uh, you're position A, are you? Position A. Just Told you. It's a good fall for me. You know where that flag is as well? Just opened it up. Oh, he's having a peek around the tree. It's a big double checker. It's actually safe that, isn't it? It's got a chance. Last thing you want to do is take off too much and then it kick into that bunker there. Yeah, it's got a chance, it's got a chance. Oh, he's not even taking his clubs. No, I'm thinking 56, just so I'm comfortable with it. 56? Oh. I, know, I know it's the wrong shot, but I've tried chipping with 50. You're not chipping in? Yeah, I'm hoping to chip in, yeah. But I've tried chipping with 50 and it didn't work. I need to practice it. Oh, I'm just more thinking you brought your putter. It's a very negative play. I thought you were being positive today, extra positive. Although that is a 
40 yard drive. But if we're being serious, look how lucky he was. Ooh, that's not the action we like to see, fans. Sports fans out there, this is live. Robinson clips it nicely. Has it got a chance? A little bit left. Oh dear. No. Not the strike you wanted. Get your putter. It's lucky you brought it. <laughs> Tell you what, you've not only let me down, but you've let Steve down. Yeah. Do you ever do that? Take your putter with you and then walk all the way back to your bag to drop your wedge off? Yeah. Right. Do you want that moving? Alright. That's fine. That's how it's a snapper. Five is in. Get in! Ah! Oh. Never up, never in. Not oh, off the pace. I'll tell you what, greens are good, aren't they? Greens are all a dream. That sounded awful when you picked it up, by the way. It sounded like glass. Takes it back, and through. Four balls, and he's in! Come on! Slazinger. Sports fan. Sampras, Murray, Federer. Sports fan. Wimbledon. Well, oh, quite pleased I've hit down to the bunker actually. Oh, yeah. yeah, that ball sounded awful when you picked it up. Oh, yeah. Right, and that actually gets me back to level par as well for the uh, for the back five holes. Level par. Level par with the uh, V100. One star ball. Funny how you'd rate a ball one star on your own website, innit? Mm, yeah. You give it two at least. Yeah, it's not fun. I mean, would you rate it one star? I don't think it's been that bad. The golf ball's a golf ball, innit? It's done the job. We've played with worse, we've played with better. Um, 18th hole here at Tankers League, it's probably one of the hardest holes I've ever played in my life. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's going to be into the wind as well, so bear with us with this one. Always into the wind. It's easier when you're one up, though. This is true. Yeah, this hole's ruined many a scorecard. Many. Ruined many a scorecard this one, Christopher. 426, uphill into the wind. What dreams are made of? Mm, something like that. Uh, we can't tease as far back, we can't even get can't even get the camera back any further, can we? We're uh, oh, it's your honour, your honour. We're struggling to get the camera here. Cameraman. He's just at that tree with a load of cut on it. Ooh. But Not go well. left and you're on the mounds. Oh, where you do where you don't want to be. Yeah. Golf ball at the end. Slide. Nicely done. Yeah, it's cutting back nicely. Amazing how tight that is. You've got to start it at that tree and let it shot that. That'll do. Better than mine. Just about missed the tree. And the fairway. Yeah, true. Well, I think it's fair to say they're two decent drives under pressure. Yeah, especially. I've seen better sport. players crumble on this hole, Chris. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Better players meaning most people. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much, but anyway, um, it does open up a little bit. But it, I mean, it's a fantastic golf hole. You know, if it was middle of the round. Yeah. It, it's just such a tough finishing hole. Boy, if you've got something going, it's not what you need. It's not what you want. You're, you go from kind of that last one where you can knock it on to this one. Yeah, then you think you've got to get a birdie on the lap. It's like a picture book to read in a Harry Potter book. Saying that Harry Potter books aren't that. Mm. Are they? We'll go with that. Right, so with aid of the uh, of that, I'm all right and yours is actually quite nice, isn't it? I think yours actually clipped it. I do. Took 40 off it. Um, I'm not sure about that. Just about 400 yards left in, into the wind, uphill. Par four this, by the way. Let's have a look on the old just 261 into the wind. Oh, it's an easy three one. And that's still not getting there. I mean, your driver's gone 240. I don't think I can get there. Mm. Very optimistic. Golf manager. I like this ball. Very good decision. I mean, they're tuned for, for entertainment, aren't they? They have. Just what the sports fans want. Definitely wasn't the call. Definitely wasn't the call. You're one up. You talked me into that. 
he didn't at all. So if ever you do watch a course management video on my channel, um, I'm trying to help you. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do, I think, there. Definitely. Sorry, mate. Coach. 240. Probably 250, isn't it? Yeah. Still flags right at the back as well. That's such a... Just a smooth Slog. I'll tell you what, I mean, that's done incredibly well. You found that little gap there. <laughs> I don't know how I found that. You know the yeah. flags over there? I, mean, I can't talk, I've can I? But <laughs> I feel like we're fatiguing. Yeah, all uphill. Right, we've just got past the 150. I've still got about 120 in, I think. Mm. Driver off the deck? Not the play. No. Saying that, my three wood wasn't much better. No, but at least you're up there, sort of. Right, big shot in the context of the game now. Okay. One up. Can we hold on? 126 into the wind. Chip a wedge up. Flags at the back. And the miss is a tiny bit short. That's going to be so good. That was a horrendously thinned wedge. Done well. Where is it? Oh, where's mine? Has it gone in? Oh, it's well short. Oh, 40 foot. If you could hear the conversation I've just had on camera, I'm saying it's game over because I thought that was within five foot. Well, I think it's another all square match. Nope. I mean, there's meat left on it, but it's six foot, isn't it? Not bad. Wedge game save you today with that ball. Maybe, maybe it's better than a Schnell. Well, I wouldn't go that far. No. Not me like that. It's a job. Has he sorted out with a sponsorship yet? No, nothing. Come on, Johnny boy. Come on, John. Sort it out. Do you just want some schnells? Honestly thought that was really close. It's another tough flag position, isn't it? You're know, like on a 500, 450 yard hole. It's good for yesterday. Yeah, let's stick it right at the back. Into the reeds. Yours had a bit of action out of the roof. Side spin, back spin, you name. I think two puts gets me in the match here. I don't. It'd be great for aim point class, wouldn't it? Mm. Speaking of aim point. Shot. Sure. <laughs> Read. Dreadful pace. Oh, we did Come on, put me out of my misery. Routine four. Routine regulation. You better believe it. Um, I'll get you on camera. What do you think? One one star ball. For a one star ball, it's you know, it's not bad. We've had fun, haven't we? We've had a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can play decent golf with it. Uh, apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. One star ball. Comment below. Would you use it? Uh, check out Chris's lesson to himself. Yeah. Thursday giveaway. Be there. Bobby Square. Square. See you tomorrow. Bye.